Welcome to Get Mojo, where we do the research so you don't have to. In this video, we're talking you through five things you should know about the Wacom One drawing tablet before buying. Devices from Apple and Samsung tend to steal the limelight when it comes to tablet devices. But if you're looking for something a little more specialized, especially if you're an avid artist, you might want to take a look at the Wacom One drawing tablet. So what's this tablet device all about? And should you look at adding it to your tech arsenal? Well, stay right where you are because we've taken a deep dive into its specs to give you five things you should know about it before buying. Before we begin, be sure to subscribe to Get Mojo and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. It's a digital drawing tablet. The big draw of this tablet is its intuitive 13.3 inch touchscreen display, which is designed to mimic the natural surface friction of a notepad. In other words, it feels like you're writing on paper, not a screen. This friction allows for more accurate pencil lines, shading techniques, and brush strokes when it comes to artwork. But this surface friction is also really useful when it comes to editing documents with, say, circles and annotations. It features a clever pen. Of course, what's a blank canvas without an appropriate instrument to help illustrate your work? The included pen with the Wacom One drawing tablet can act as multiple different pens, pencils, and brushes to allow you to achieve the effect you want. It's also highly accurate for precise sketching and annotating. Plus, it doesn't run off batteries, so your creativity won't be interrupted due to having to recharge, unlike with some other smart pen devices. It's worth noting, however, that if you're not a fan of the Wacom Pen or simply want to mix things up, it's compatible with a lot of other popular pens from other brands. It's not just for drawing. Okay, so we've mentioned drawing a lot so far, and while the Wacom One is indeed superb for digital drawing, it can, as already briefly mentioned, be used for so much more. You can use it to edit photos and videos, sign digital forms and contracts, create graphs and diagrams, add extensive notes and annotations to various different document formats, and of course, to take notes. Apart from all that, however, you can just simply use it as an additional display, which brings us to our next point. It can be used with other devices, as well as having its own built-in programs and functions, which we'll get to in a moment. The Wacom One can simply be used as an additional monitor or display. By using USB-C or OTG adapters, you can sync your Mac, Windows, PC, Chromebook, or Android device with your Wacom One for a more flexible workspace. So if you simply want to view a smartphone Android app bigger, you can. Or if you want to utilize the Wacom's friction surface for sketching in conjunction with your Mac's programs, you can do that too. It's ready to go with software. Although there are tons of separate apps and programs to explore with the Wacom One, the vast majority of them require paid subscriptions. Luckily, Wacom throws in some free monthly subscriptions upon purchase, so you can at least try some of them out before you commit to subscribing. These include two months of Adobe Photoshop and Lightroom, three months of Bamboo Paper Pro, and six months of Adobe Fresco. Not bad, huh? So are you going to buy the Wacom One? If so, are you going to combine it with your Mac or PC to maximize your productivity? Stay tuned to Get Mojo for the most complete video product reviews. Check out this other recent clip from GetMojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos.